crisis, talking about anything and everything that may come up, including your mama. Including your mama. Including your mama. Morning, 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 folks. This is the Mid Laugh Crisis Show with Anthony and Scotty over there. Good morning. What's going on, Scott? How's it going? How was your trip? It's going good. It was nice. It was uh, freaking beautiful in Florida. It was like going to San Diego. It was like 75, breezy, no humidity. It, it doesn't get better than that. It was perfect. Absolutely it really perfect. doesn't get better than that. No, no. humidity, warm. That's yeah, just was, not fair. It was unlike Florida, actually. It was, you know, just, it was just pleasant. You know, it, was, right. it was pleasant. Meanwhile, while you were gone, I got a cold. So that was unpleasant. That does suck. And how are you feeling today? You feeling better? I'm feeling a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Um, I I I laid I stayed in bed for a couple of days and and uh, I guess I don't know. I took medicine. I I, I ate clo uh, garlic cloves, which uh, my buddy Max and Apollo told me to do. And I uh, I mean it's it it worked. It's working out great, which is good. Which is good because. I need my Ooh. voice for Sunday because I have something coming up, but I don't want to disclose it yet. But I have something coming up on Sunday, and hopefully it works out. And uh, if it does, I'll have some some good news for you guys on Monday. If it doesn't, I just won't. I'll have no it. news. <laughs> I'll have no news. I told you, the minute you started feeling shitty, get that Zycam, man. That stuff is like wonder crack. It's like crack for colds. I, I should have. It works. It really does work. I got some here. I started taking it because there was chicks sneezing all over me on the plane yesterday, so I started mm -hmm. popping them just in case. You take one every three hours, mm -hmm. and you, you just suck on it. You're used to that, so you should have done it, dude. Zycan? What? <laughs> it's called Zycan, right? Zycan. I don't know. Zycan, they're not, they're not, yeah. They're not sponsored of the, of the show, so I can't take that. No, no, no. But head on. Apply directly to your forehead is. That's right. No. <laughs> there are the sponsors. Head on. Get your head, head on. on today. Uh, apply directly to your penis. <laughs> Only on the head. Only on Only the, the head. head. Just a tip. Just, let's play a game just called Just a tip. a tip. Let's play a game just called Just a Tip. Just a tip. Just a tip. So um, uh, what, are we, what are we talking about this morning? we got a couple of things we like to talk about. A um, little update you hate. A little bit of celebrity news. Um... Uh, what? All, no awkward moments today, I guess. Uh, we got a couple of apps we want to talk about, um, TV shows, and uh, yeah. So Video games. Video games. We both actually purchased video games today. We'll get into that as well. But first. First. Celebrity news. Celebrity news. Celebrity news. Celebrity so, news. Celebrity news. We should have a so, song for that. You know? celebrity we really news. should. You know what? <laughs> Uh, and I can probably do something with that. We'll see. We'll see. Hee-haw. All righty. <laughs> Hee-haw. <laughs> um, so everyone knows about Whitney Houston and her passing and all that good and all, well, well, not good stuff, all that bad stuff. <laughs> and all that good and, stuff. <laughs> Thank well, God maybe, she's gone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> damn. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. All that, too soon. All that it's good never, stuff. It's never too soon on the mid laugh crisis too show. Too <laughs> but um, <laughs> appar apparently... In her will, she left everything to Bobby Joe, and it looks like the the judge approved the will. Um, For those of you who don't know who Bobby Joe is, that's her daughter. Yeah, not Bobby Joe Woods, although I, I uh, she probably <laughs> she Woods. probably she probably would appreciate that. She but didn't not, get shit. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Joe Woods. Bobby Joe Woods, you were left out of the will. Sorry. Bobby Joe Woods is singing right now. Didn't we almost have it all? <laughs> <laughs> Darn. But I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You got something to say or no? Yep. No. I no. Really okay. Have lots to say, but. All right. So, um, it's not clear about you know as far as the um, amount of money she's getting, but she's definitely getting all of her material things like her her houses, her cars, her clothes, her jewelry, everything. She's getting everything that she, that. That um, Whitney, Whitney Houston owned is going to Bobby Joe. Yep. Um, as far as as far as uh, money and things like that, I think it's uh it's being put into a trust, 
Yeah. And she'll get that too. Yeah, she'll get that eventually. She it's, it's a little it's a little uh um what the hell's the what, what are those twins' names? The the the, the ugly twins from Full House. What oh, uh, Mary Kate, Ashley Olsen. Mary Kate and Ashley, yeah. The trolls. It's a little, yeah, it's a little case of that because she's not going to get anything until she's twenty-one. I don't know, really know what uh, what Whitney Houston had left. I mean, that she didn't blow up her nose. I don't really, I don't really know. I don't, I don't know. know. Like what? Because she hadn't made a song in a long time or a movie, so I don't. Or suck up her nose. Well, all, well, with with um, with the entertainment business, all that stuff is residual. You know, she yeah, makes yeah. she makes money every time her song is played. So, whatever, yeah, whatever. So, so Bobby Joe is getting all uh, everything, which is funny because it says it says that if Bobby Joe should die, the money will be split up between between Bobby Brown and the family. Right. And the family, now, right? I, I mean, call me nuts, but I've seen crackheads do crazier things and kill somebody for money. I have. So I have. there's a good chance that Bobby Brown will beat the piss out of his daughter and get all the money. Pull so, OJ. So Bobby Joe is going to be needing to call Kevin Costner ASAP. Yeah, she 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 needs a bodyguard. Right. Although he didn't do a good job with Whitney, so I don't know. No, no. We'll no. see. We'll, we'll we'll see how we'll see how that goes. Her body was unguarded. <laughs> unguarded. Un next. Guarded. Next up, celebrity news. Hulk Hogan. Yes, folks. Hulk Hogan. I am the wrestler a real that we are. American. Fighting <laughs> for something, something, something. Hulk Hogan. I don't know. Who knows the words? <laughs> Whatever. Um. Apparently, he has a sex tape out uh, without him knowing, an unknowing sex tape. Um, he was being taped and didn't know it during, during the act of sex. He was um, giving her the DX. Right, and it's out. The, 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 the tape is, is out, and he's totally against it. It's not something that he agreed to. Like I said, he didn't know that he was being recorded. He was just, you know, getting his, getting his groove on. If you guys, you, you guys gotta try to find this because the money shot is just Hulk Hogan squirting self tanner all over her face. That's it's right. Amazing. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And yes, you do. And 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 also you get to see his twenty inch python. So that's it's that's pretty. Cool. You know, I was gonna go upstairs and get a Hulk Hogan shirt and rip it off for you guys, but uh, I'm gonna pass on that. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that another time. Well, well, uh, it's being said that in the tape he actually uh, rips his clothes off. He rips he his shirt off, and and I think after he's done, he does one of these. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's does, what he's doing. He does one like of those. This. Yeah. And then and then uh and then yes. after after also after he's done, he's not really done. You think he's done, but then all you have to do is lift his hand once. Lift it twice, and on the third time, he comes back, baby. No, no, he comes back. No, 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 no. Round two. Ding, ding, ding. That's it. And then you get the body slam. <laughs> or the cock slam. No, the leg, the leg drop. The leg drop. The leg drop. Oh, he drops the leg, all right. He drops the leg. The 20-inch python leg. That 20, you know what? You would think that that 20-inch python would be smaller after all the steroids. No, no. <laughs> not the case, pie. huh, Hulk? I guess it's still a python. <laughs> now we know why they call him Hulk. That's right. That's right, Hulk. Hulk. Why do they call him Hulk Hogan? Why do they call him Hulk? You I guess it's, it's because it's the big cock in his pants. Uh, you don't want to make. You don't want to make him angry. I was just gonna say that. You know, <laughs> I know you are. I know you are. That's why I cut you, you off. Beat me to it. You don't want to see me angry. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he, I think he's going to be uh, starring in the second movie, uh, The Avengers. Uh, <laughs> Hulk's so. going to avenge this videotape. Right. Yeah, but yeah, but it's going to be Hollywood Hogan, so who, who knows how that's going to go. Uh, this is true. That's just what I heard. I don't know. So, the Bowflex <laughs> guy, um, those of you who don't know Bowflex, um, if you've ever watched TV at about 3 in the morning, um, there's always a Bullflex and P90X and all those, all those uh, insanity, all those crazy exercise things, Zumba, 
all that. Well, Buff, Bowflex is one of them. I think it's I think it's made by Soloflex. Remember, I don't know if you remember Soloflex from back in the day. Well, I do. Bo- Bowflex is like a whole bunch of. It looks like a like a spider. It looks like the Game of Thrones throne where all the things are coming out, and you yeah. basically pull on it. You pull on it, and it has res- it's, it, it uses resistance. So, the guy, the guy that is in that video in the in the commercial, he has like killer abs. Like it's ridiculous what his abs look like. I'm gonna let's see if I could do a um a, sc- a screen share of it, but. In in the video, he's talk He talks about how um, the Bowflex did it for him, but apparently that was a lie. I got a hit. Go ahead. You got it. I got a picture of this dude. Okay, I think I I, I have it too. Are you you gonna share it? Okay, there you go. Let me go ahead and uh, yeah, make it make it make it bigger. Do 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 pinch zoom. How's that? Keep. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it didn't make it bigger, huh? No, it didn't. I pinched it on my end. It's God damn it. <laughs> I'm pinching I it hope, on my end. I oh, hope. I go. hope. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I hope uh, Hulk Hogan didn't have that problem making it bigger. <laughs> yeah, look pinched. at those. Look at those abs, dude. Two, four, six, eight. God damn. Who do we appreciate? Who do we appreciate? That guy. <laughs> that motherfucker those, looks those like are... he's on the. He looks like he's right off the Jersey Shore, though. Come on. This guy's nah. like. No, this oh, guy's got, yeah. he's got abs of steel, man. Look, Look at, at his that. face. He's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> what, do you, what do you say we go out and we get a drink there and we do a little schnooky since everybody else is the best doing part. that? Let me tell you what's the best part about this picture. If you look all the way over to the right, it says Shatner's. Shatner's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just noticed that. We can take that uh, several different ways. I want to know what the rest of the video, what what the rest of it says. Shatner, Shatner's wee wee. <laughs> Shatner's Willie. Let's tell me things we could come up with. Shatner's you know wee. You know what it says? It says it's a strip club, and instead of it saying William Shatner, it says Shatner's William. I guess they can't get sued yeah. for that. Yeah, that's true. Shatner's Willie. Shatner. Wasabi. Shatner's wasabi's. <laughs> it's a spicy place. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah, so let's get this fucking clown off my screen. Yeah, let's get that guy out of here. Get a different clown on the screen. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah. So so, okay. so, so yeah, apparently it's all bullshit. He's saying that um all he does is eat right. That's it. I, I mean I'm sure he does you know, he does work out, but apparently it's not Bowflex that's doing it for him. You know what, man? I'll tell you something. Bowflex probably paid that dude a lot of money. Oh, so you yeah. Know what? You know what I got to say to him? You're fucking up, man. No, he's not fucking up. Yep, he's fucking up. He's been paying paid me a lot of money. money. I'll say I do things too. Screw it. Well, he's lot. Li- you know, he, he, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he's already been paid a ton of money by Bowflex. Why, why? Why do you need to go out and tell people that, that it wasn't Bowflex that did it? I mean... They paid you to tell us that they did. You know, like you're in a commercial, just just fucking, you're an actor. You're pretty much paid to act on screen, show your abs, and say that Bowflex did it. I don't know. Yeah. If you, if it's up to me, if I'm Bowflex, I'm suing his ass. Hey, I'm who knows? Who knows? I mean, he's not he's not lying. Unless no. uh, unless there's something in the contract that says um, you won't tell anybody. What you really did? Yeah, I mean, Bowflex is pretty stupid if they if they said if they didn't tell him like that he couldn't disclose that information. Right. They asked me, but uh, who knows? Hey, listen, Bowflex has been around a long time, so it must work for yeah. some people. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm sure it works. Look, you can't eat you like know? five cheeseburgers in a day and exercise and expect to get abs. Yeah, so everybody absolutely. Knows you gotta diet, you know, and if you do ab workout and you diet, you're gonna get it no matter what you do. Well, the thing is, not even an ab workout. If you just you have to do cardio and work off yeah. that fucking belly, because then I you go guys. look like because then you go look like Hulk Hogan does now. He just looks like he has a strong belly. He has no he's abs. Lot, he's just got a lot of skin. He actually always looked like that. He never had abs. He just had a strong stomach. That's like because that. when you and I started watching him, he was fifty years old. <laughs> oh like, no, I watched him in the beginning, dude. That was the beginning. Yeah, that's true. When he fought Iron <laughs> Sheik, that was awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. When he picked up Andre Giant and slammed him, 
<laughs> he barely, barely picked him up. He busted his back on that shit. <laughs> but but no, seriously though, I knew guys that would do just sit ups and push ups and be jacked just because yeah. they di- dieted and that's all they did. Yep, that's it. That's you know, all you gotta do. Just gotta exercise. Exercise and eat right. Okay, so Bron Bronwyn McCuggan, she's saying this says she's saying uh, Shatner's World. It's a it's a show and it says he's on tour, but I saw him on Broadway. If he comes near, you see it. I don't know if I'm interested in seeing the Shat. Shatner is, is is it William Shatner or is it all about him? It's Shatner yeah. apparently. Who knows? He does shat himself. So yeah. Who wants that. To... <laughs> <laughs> so. Wait. So wait. So the show is he starring in it? We need to know this. We need this information. I think so. Is William Sh- I think so. If he is, I'm gonna go there with a Spock uniform on. I have to. People that are listening, is he in the show? Matter of fact, who was it that that left the um? The thing, uh, Brown, Brownwin, Brownwin, or Bronin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but uh, is Where he in the show? Where did she leave it? I'm trying to find this comment, actually. She left it on on my page. Oh, it's on your oh, it's page. Oh, it's a one-man show. Holy a one, shit. A one-man show with the chat? God damn it. Why have I not heard of this? Now, let me just, let's just talk about, about Bronwyn's, Bronwyn's name. For a minute, since she's watching, and she's she's from New York, correct? I believe uh, she's from New York. Not sure. Is she from New York? Why? Well, yeah, Queens, <clears throat> which is where uh, which is where Eddie Murphy lived in Coming to America. Yeah. And Jay Z. <laughs> and Jay Z. Uh, yeah. So Bronwyn, oh. is that how you? Oh, we're well, saying her name right. I wonder if we're saying. Because she's got a real Irish last name. McGuffin. We're probably saying her name wrong. If I had to put money on it, we're saying her name wrong. Yeah, I, I would guess that. I would never am I, have am guessed. I frozen? Am I frozen on your end? Nope. You're moving. No, okay, good. good. You look better I'm if you're frozen. frozen, though. No, not not the shot I'm looking at. Oh, there we go. Is it the money shot? It's not the money shot with the self-tanning lotion, no. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see anyway, what this is. Bronwyn, thanks Hold for up. watching. Hold up. Let's see if it plays. It's my world. It started playing. And Hold up. Hold up. Shh, shh, shh. Shatner's world has been expecting you. So basically, Shatner's world is a Priceline. Or oh, what is that? <laughs> what did he do? What? It looked a lot like Priceline. I think at some point the guy with the big, the, the big guy with the fur shows up. Yeah, is that, that is that what he advertised for a while? He was on was that Priceline? Or yeah, he still does it. He still does Priceline. He does. He does. He's, so yep. he's he's basically taking his commercials to uh, to the stage. I would like to go there and hear him go. But why are we going to light <laughs> speed? Uh, that would be awesome. Okay, her name is Bron- Bronwyn McCuggan. That's her name. Oh, I know her name. She just, pronou- she just pronounced it for us. No, no, oh. she, she pronounced it for us. Oh, she pronounced it? Yeah, Bronwyn McCuggan. That's a fucking awesome name. Yeah. That's a, that's a good name, Bronwyn. Do they call you Bron? Bron. Like Love Bron? Le- LeBron Le- McCuggan? Or they call you McCuggan or Guckin? <laughs> McLovin. McLovin. Yo, I changed my name to McGuckin. McBuggin? McCuggin. McGuggin. McGuckin. It's better than McDonald's. Oh, uh, she had to close the window. She missed something. You missed us playing the video for, for Shatner's World. There's a little preview. It wasn't uh, anything from the show, though. It was just a promo trailer type thing. So you didn't really miss anything. Um, but if you Dude. do, we'll tell you. We'll we'll tell you how to watch the episode after. I'm going through uh, some of Bronwyn's pages, uh, pictures right now, and uh, she's partying with the rap. 
The master. <laughs> She's partying with uh, Rappaport. What, right now? No, in these pictures. I'm going through her pages. Oh, wow. Through her, through her pictures. Yeah, she she was at the Hurl. Was she at the Wait hurl? a minute. She was, at the, she was at the Hurl. I wasn't. See, I was only at the photo walk, so I don't know that I met. But you were Wait there. Yeah, I was there. Why don't I remember? Why? Why? Well, you were at the Hurl. Why were you there? Bronwyn, tell me if we met. Tell me if we met. Cause Super if, Dave? Because, because if we actually met, I would feel really bad. Well, you're, you're I would little, feel so bad. Yeah, it, it is what it is. You're a little special. Yeah. yeah. She's, all over the place. She's got the hoodie on, too. She's wearing the uh, the raccoon head or whatever that is. Yeah, but you know what? Depending. Oh, you know what? This is this is the Super Bowl day. I think it is because Ryan wore when I was there, unless he was there before I was there or after. So this Let's looks see. like the Super Bowl day. Yeah, this is the Super Bowl day. Wait, she was at Daria's concert. What I the? I see Daria. Yeah. I, I'm looking holy. for you. This Ryan. Oh, there you are. You do. You're you're in the same picture as her. No, I'm not. Shut the fuck up. You are, dude. No, I'm not. Yeah, be. you are. You are. Wait, are you talking uh, about the group? Are you talking about the group? Yeah, the group shot? picture. You, you're, 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 you're next to uh, Rappaport. I'm next to Al and Rappaport. Yeah, well, that that one, everybody sat at different places, so I have an excuse for that one. And she's she's four or five people over to to your yeah, uh, no. to that's your left. <laughs> you know let's, what? I'm embarrassed. I'm gonna share that and, and show you what a retard you are that you didn't. No, I see it. Yourself. I see it. I'm looking at it. Oh, okay. I'll show everybody else out. Anthony yeah. is to the right. <laughs> and how can you not meet somebody named Bronwyn? I don't know, and I'm really ashamed. I am totally ashamed. Man, if I had the chance to meet somebody with a name like that, I would have been all over that. I mean, Nick got that's like that's Bronwyn is like an awesome Lord of the Rings name. I bet she she grew up in Middle Earth or Narnia, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> one of those places. All right, let's let's move on. Let's move on. We 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 spent too much time on Bron on Bronwyn. I, I wonder if anybody else has spent that much time on Bron. Sorry, Bron. I'm just kidding. Yeah, maybe Hulk Hogan. <laughs> All right. Maybe Hulk Hogan. Let's oh, let's man. go to what's what's the fuck up? What's All right. The, so where, I'm the fuck up for making fun of somebody. I don't know. I'm just and I'm not making fun of. We're not making fun of you. No, we're not making fun of you. We're just we're just dumb. Using your name. Yeah. Um, as a joke. As a joke. As a joke. <laughs> as a punchline. So as what's the fuck yes. up? Is this brought to you by anything by anybody? Do we have any sponsors for this? Um You know what? Let's throw this in there. What's what's the fuck up is sponsored by uh Hangout Conversations with Matthew Rappaport. And it that's is. that goes on on thir Thursday nights at eight o'clock. Eight PM. On uh I don't know if he's going to do it on his page now because he was having issues on the other page, but you can circle Hangout Conversations or you can circle Matthew Rappaport and you can find out the information either way. And uh, you can also find the information on gplusonair.com. All right, so what's the fuck up? What is the fuck up? All right, so there's this lady that uh, won the lotto. She won a million dollars. Imagine winning a million dollars. Wait, today. time out. Time out. The New York lottery is now over a hundred and forty million dollars. Dollars, 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 dollars. dollars. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, so she won a million dollars. She lives in Pennsylvania. So, what would you do if you won a million dollars today, right now, at this moment? Right now? You just found out. Right. Right now, million yeah. dollars. I go mm -hmm. collect it. Wait, do I have it yet, or or do, am I going? Do I have to go collect? It? Um, you just found out. You haven't collected it yet. You just found out. What would you do? Who would you Who would you tell? Who would you say fuck you to? Besides oh. Besides Baby Nate. Wow. I don't, <laughs> uh, <nah. laughs> um, I don't think I have anybody to f you to. Well, you, really don't don't. For, you don't work for anybody. So I'm, my own, I'm my own boss. Yeah, I would I would go into the city. And I would uh, and I would tell my wife, and I would be like, "Dude, you're leaving work today." Peace. Yeah, that's it. And she would probably. Uh, and I don't know that she would f you her bosses because uh, maybe we'd use them to invest some money into their business. Right. But uh, she and plus, would plus they they uh, treat her well too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, treating you well is making you their well, their bitch. Well, for the yeah, but, for the most part. Yes, they 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 pay her well, and they're right. they're they're good they're good people. Mm -hmm, they're good mm -hmm. people. 
But uh, yeah, I think I, th- I don't. There's nobody I would say uh, I would fuck you to. Uh, maybe I'd say fuck you to you, but or Vlad maybe. Uh, but yeah, fuck you, Vlad. I would. Uh, yeah, I would. I would start. Uh, I would start spending it right away. <laughs> I think I would too. I would actually. I would. I would go take my kids out of out of school right now, and go go somewhere. Yeah. Just, just go somewhere. Like maybe take take them on vacation down south, and just and just uh, run up the credit card. You know what? I I I've got to work on Saturday, so I think that I would I would shoot that wedding on Saturday. I'm a wedding mm-hmm. photographer. If some people don't know. I right, would shoot right. that wedding on Saturday. He's in, the, then, he's in the New York. He's in the New York area. So if you need any pictures done, yeah. Mahalo. I will travel anywhere though. By right. the way, on your on anywhere. your dime. Uh, on your dime, yeah. Not on mine. On yours. Right. Well, if it's my million, I'll 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 come to wherever you are just for the first the first wedding. That's right. Um, but yeah, no, no. But I, I would I would shoot the first wedding and then I would take a a nice vacation and I would start finding people to shoot my other weddings <laughs> so that I didn't have to do that anymore. Yeah, yeah, you start a business, you start, you start expanding. Yep, I would, I, would, I would expand and find people that were capable to uh, work for me a little bit, and I would invest, mm-hmm. I, I would invest a bunch of that money, and I would, I would just go, be gone. I'd be traveling. Yeah, be traveling. I, I think I would, I would uh, if I were you, I would do that, I would do that, um, that, that photo, the, the photo shoot, what well, the wedding on on Saturday? You said, yep, yeah, and yeah. Bec- and because I'm such in such high spirits, I may regret it later. But because I'm in such high spirits, I'll be like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry <laughs> about paying me. That's my well, gift to you. They only owe me one one part of the of the of the deposit now, say if they pay oh, two well, parts. There you go. Well, then you tell I, me forget about the rest. Maybe I would. Do, maybe I would spend, do that. Spend I would it. Do Spend it on your honeymoon, cause but what, I, I would imagine you would you would you would feel so good, you know what I mean? What, but, but would I be collecting a million dollars, or would I be getting taxed on that? Uh, well, you figure if you if you get the lump sum, you only gain about five hundred. Yeah, so which so is you know still what? which is still decent. You know what? They pay, they're paying me, but maybe I'll put in a couple extra hours for them. <laughs> five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand is not enough for me to start giving away money. Yeah, um, I hear you. You give, him, I, give, give, give him a hundred bucks off. I would definitely. I would, yeah, exactly. You know what? I'll take an hour off. Don't worry. About like you it. know what? I'll give you. I'll give you an extra eight by ten. I'll throw in a free album. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Whatever. Who cares? I'll give you my I camera think, when I'm done. So I'm gonna buy a new one. I think I would go. Oh, thank you. Not you. Oh God damn it! <laughs> I think I would go buy a bunch of uh, subways. That's that's what I would do. Like you want to own like the underground. Yeah, exactly. You want to like take free trips on the subways? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Is that is that bad? It's kind of interesting. Is that is that wrong? I don't know. Like, I guess I would live in the subway <laughs> if I could. <laughs> I well, probably, could. A lot, a lot <laughs> of people do. A lot of people living in the subway. <laughs> Speaking of living in the subway, let's get back to why we were talking about the New York Lotto. Oh yeah. So <laughs> so, so this lady won the lotto in Pennsylvania, one million dollars. She got the lump sum, so she got about half of it. And she's still collecting food stamps. <laughs> um, I don't know if uh, there there must be a loophole in Pennsylvania law that maybe I need to move over there or something. So no, is, she, is she Amish? Well. Is she Amish? Do Amish collect food stamps? I don't know. Do Amish play the lotto? Oh, that's a good question. Any Amish people on Google Plus? I don't think you're allowed to be if you are. You're not allowed to be. McLuckin, oh, no. what do you think? <laughs> Although if you are, let us know if you play yeah. lotto. And if you won, uh, the, uh, you can go to PayPal, at gmail.com. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Some of those stamps. <laughs> so she, she's getting $200, $200 in food stamps. Hey, cool. check, check this out. She, she has... Where the heck is the story at? Oh, I'm using the wrong mouse. Duh. She has two houses, a brand new car, uh, some other things, I guess, some other uh, nifty things, and she's still collecting two hundred dollars in food stamps. That's amazing. Now I think how, how pe- I think that's work? that's Pennsylvania's fuck up. Damn that's straight. What that's what I think. How, how, I don't understand how this works, though. I mean, like, how is that possible? I don't know. Apparently, there's there's not there's nothing that they can do. Um, Pennsylvania state 
representative or something is trying to pass a law to um, to check everyone who's won a lotto, who's won at least a thousand dollars or more in a lotto. I just don't. To, I just um, don't understand. Like how 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 does that? How do you slip through like that? How can you collect free food, free food stamps, or whatever, and and have a bank account that has money in it? I don't think she slipped through. They they know. Well, if they didn't, they do now. They know why. Oh, right. She collect. <laughs> they know. They know. They know now. So Pennsylvania, you yeah. you fucked up. Send, You're done. Send me up. those food yeah. stamps. I use it. Yeah, seriously. Not, I, you know, I make I make money, but I could use some food stamps. Shit, who doesn't like free money? All right. What else? Free money. What else? What else? Free money. All right. Uh, what else we got? Um, what's well? Go ahead. Let, let's uh let's move on. Let's move on to uh. The thing you got. One of what's up? No, oh, let's move on to yeah. Okay, we can move on to that thing you got. All right. What's that thing that you got? I got Batman, Batman Arkham City on Xbox. And how is that? Have you played it yet? I've played it, and I think it's an excellent game. The graphics are great. Um, the gameplay is awesome. The story is crazy. Um, it does get a little difficult sometimes because I'm dumb. But if you're not dumb, you won't have any problems. Um, I had to. I had to use. Uh, I had to go on YouTube and look at and look at walkthroughs. A couple of walkthroughs. So it's got the. If you're under the out. age of uh, of Anthony on on the on the box. <laughs> right, right. If you're under the age of Anthony, you'll you'll be fine. <laughs> but um, oh, but it's a, it's a great it's a really good game. If yeah. if you like the Arkham Asylum, you know this I, is have like it, ten, ten I have it ten times better. And I, I I loved Arkham Asylum, and this is like ten times better. I've got that. I've got Arkham Asylum, but I have not I have not finished it. That's among many other games that I need to get to and play. Uh, yeah, and, Arkham Asylum was good. Yeah, it was what, a lot of fun did, so far. What what did you get? I got. Uh, MLB The Show, the show. For, the, for the PS Vita, because it just came out on Tuesday, and I only had one a, game for it. Who's that on the cover? Is that a damn Red Sox? It is a damn Red Sox. Hopefully God gonna, damn it. Hopefully he'll break a leg or something. Who? I don't even know who it is. I don't it's know who some, it is either. Some dude. It looks like you a little bit with a helmet on. <laughs> I think it is. I wish it was me. Then I, would, I would get a lot of money and collect food stamps. Spanish dude with a goatee. Anybody we know? All, who this we is? all look alike. We all look alike. If anybody knows who this is, write into the show because uh, we're too lazy to Google it. Uh, but I got That's this right. game. You know, you got a little CC Sabathia on the back. Oh, he's fat in that too. Oh, he's fat in everything. CC looked like he ate a cheeseburger before he went out there. Hey, the, o- the only thing we care about is that arm. That's it, man. That's it. Uh, yeah, I got this game. It's pretty cool. Um... Okay, this is pretty interesting, actually. Check this out. This is the size of the games. This is my, my other game. It's like the size of an SD card. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Isn't that, isn't that incredible how small that is? That's what she uh, said. Ah, that's what Hulk Hogan's girlfriend said. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I picked this up. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's hard. It's harder than the old the old MLB, I guess. Maybe I'm playing it on a difficult level. I don't, I, I'm playing it on uh, Harder Than Anthony. So uh, okay. that's what she said too. Uh, Nothing so gets harder it, than Anthony. It's oh my god! <laughs> it's because you use the Bowflex. I do. Um, but yeah, it's fun. It's a fun game. It's uh, it's entertaining, and uh, I'll I'll give you guys uh, a little better review after I played it for a few days. Would would you? Well, hopefully you'll say it's a home run. <laughs> it could be a no. home run. That that's how we should rate rate the games actually. That's that's how that's how we should rate the games in our apps. We should rate them as as one hit, a double, triple, a home run. What do you think? It's kind of like a like a four star system, but we're just using bases. That's good. Yeah. That's good. All right, yeah, we could we could do that. Do that. Yeah. Uh, see, we just created something here on the show with you guys. Thanks that's for your it. help. Thank you. And that's the show. Good night. <laughs> hey, you. <yes! laughs> Anthony right. left the building. So um, so bat, bat, Batman, I would give a triple. I would give a triple. triple. Nice, nice. I I can't I can't rate this yet. Right now we're we're on a walk. So all right. You know, <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're at the plate. 
I've played one game so far, so I really can't rate it. I got my ass whooped, and uh, it took me like two hours to play the game because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> but, nice. but uh, yeah, I have to keep on pausing it to look at the controls. All right, anyway, so let's go we'll back oh, to that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. For no, 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 it's all good. It's all good with a bag of chips. Um, also, uh, I just want to say that I, I got uh, for for our appetizers section. Appetizers. Um, I currently own GarageBand for the iPad. Uh, it's a music app. It's to record your music for those of you people that uh, don't know. It's for musicians and and people that just want to. You know, maybe play and learn how to do stuff on it. Uh, they just did an update, which is pretty amazing. Mm. Um, it's the jam session update. So now anybody with iPads, we can connect up to three people and jam uh, live on the iPad. That's uh, awesome. With GarageBand, I don't know how it works yet. I just, I just did. The, I'm doing the update right now on my iPhone because I have it on the iPhone as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you could uh, now jam on the iPad. Apple is just amazing. Amazing. Do you know if it's um if it's cr cross platform? Like, can you jam with somebody on a Mac using GarageBand? That I do not know. Um, do you gotta let me know? I, I haven't checked if there was an update from my GarageBand on my computer yet. Neither have I. Neither have I. So we'll find that out for you guys, and we'll we'll get back to you on that. Bron Bronwyn uh, is saying point. that there's a there's a second person that won in Michigan too, and she's getting food stamps. God damn it. Food stamp fuckers. God damn it. We should, we should do a segment on Fridays called Food Stamp Fuckers on Friday. Yeah, bastards. Well, what, I mean, if you need it, good on you, you know? If you need it. Clearly you don't need it. Why would you get food stamps? We're, we're, not, we're, not, <laughs> we're not talking about the people that need it, you know, because obviously there are people out there that actually do need it. And, well, let's, let's go to my appetizer. Mine is the MX Player. It's on uh, Android. It's an Android app. Um... I actually found this right. player, um, yeah, Android. Um, Derek Ross told me about uh, a player called Mobo when I was in the uh, when I was at the New York City Hall uh -huh. and uh, where we met. And um, he said that there was something called Mobo. Well, my question was because he's like an Android fanatic, so I asked him if there's a player that I can use that will play anything on my on my tablet because I had three movies up there that I couldn't access because my tablet wasn't compatible with the format. So he told me to check out Mobo, which um, actually didn't work. I, I, maybe I was doing something wrong, though, because he has a tablet, too, and his works, so I think I was doing something wrong. But um, I actually found, I, went, I Googled, and I, and I put in um, apps like Mobo, and MX Player popped up, and um, it works great. It, it plays any format video that, that you have. So I can now watch movies... Um, you know, I could transfer movies over to my tablet and watch movies wherever I'm at. So, really? Yeah. That's pretty and cool. They, and they have MX Player on the on the phones also, so it's um, you know, it's it'll work on there as well. It just it just formats it to whatever your your phone could do or whatever your tablet could do. I don't know, whatever whatever it does. I'm not a I'm not a guru like that, but it, it works. You know. Sweet. So whatever. Almost. In case we want to get an Android. <laughs> I've got except, an Android. Except I don't want to get an Android. Right. It just makes you feel like getting one. It just doesn't make you get want to get one. <laughs> so let's let's uh let's move. You know what? Let's let's go over to uh, update your hate. Update let's your just, hate. Let's just skip skip this segment. Go to update your hate. Update yeah. your hate. By the way, is is brought to you by G Plus on Air, where you can catch uh, great shows like ours, Middle Life Crisis Show. Hangout conversations, uh, hangout interviews. Uh, what else is up there? I don't know. You guys, you guys go up there and check it. G plus on air. dot com. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, you can check out past shows uh, and things like that. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know what update your hate is, it's a segment we do. We have people writing in uh, to update your hate, whether it's on uh, updateyourhate. dot com, which takes you to the FB page. Uh, or if you send an email to us with your hates or you write them on our wall, we read them. Um, so here's two hates we've got. Um, the first one, I hate that I have to take exams to show that I'm actually learning something in class. Why can't they just trust me? Why can't they just trust me that I'm learning? Just because I look like an idiot doesn't mean that I am. No. Why don't they uh, just trust that they did a good job teaching you? You know, some people right. just don't take tests well. That's me. 
Uh, it's me. It's it's <laughs> it's a lot of people. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot I'm of better pressure. At, I'm better at um, and I hate to say this because it's it's gonna. I'm digging a hole for myself, but I'm better at oral exams. I would say me. you're not good on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, I am. I, I'm way better. Like some of my teachers used to actually um, give me the test and just read the questions to me and have me answer them. Yep. So you're not good under pressure. Under pressure. Pressure. So you're not good when it comes right down to it. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, yeah. So no, I I agree. I, you know, it's it's very hard to take tests, and there should there it's, should be a system. It's very hard. Hard. Uh, there should be a system. Uh, for for these students and for students all over the place, mm -hmm. that uh, you know they can be graded on you know something other than test taking. There's got to be another mm -hmm. way that could show that they're learning, and there right. there is. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure there are you know there are ways, but uh, unfortunately, this kid uh, that teacher don't have those ways. Yeah, so they're whatever. they're stuck with a scantron and they're stuck with a test, buddy. I'm sorry. Thanks for writing in, but you're fucked. Yes, uh, here's another one. Go. This one. I hate. Well, this is this is pretty intense. There's a lot of hates here. I hate. Yeah, it is. I hate the feeling of clo clothing made from wool. Noisy kids in supermarkets. <laughs> they're two parents who don't control them. And poodles. I fucking hate those little bastards. Clearly. I. I, I fucking hate poodles too. Fucking poodles. They look like they were made of wool. Yeah. So that's that's a double hate right there because he doesn't like clothing made from wool either. Fuck those poodles, you poodle fuckers. And I, I, you know what I hate? I hate when when people have kids and the kids walk up to you and like stare at you and you don't know what to fucking do. Like, please, please get your child away from me. I'm like, can I help you? Is there something I can do for you? If you don't walk yeah, away, I, I will beat you down. I don't. Care I, will, I, will, I will. I will punch you in the back of the face. I will stand. with my face. I will take my son and I will use him as a bat and I will bust your ass. <laughs> uh, and and I found that I don't know if it's just me. If it's not, let let me know in the comments or whatever. Um, but I'm not really fond of kids too much. Uh, I mean, I like I like mine enough to uh, to uh, take care of them. But um, <laughs> for some reason, I think that when people don't really like kids, they attract kids more. Yeah, and that's, you've got you've that, got a label, you've got like a, a scarlet letter on your forehead that says, "Kids, I hate you. Bother me." Right, exactly. And they and they uh, always and they always end up liking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said this the other day in Florida. I said to my parents and my and my uh, my wife, I was like, "Fucking hate kids. Fucking hate kids." And they're like, "What, what about your son?" I'm like, "I don't know. He's not the same as other kids. Because I can <laughs> slap his ass around if he gets out of line." Right. Except exactly. I don't do that. He's only 11 months old. He's not getting out of line. I don't know. I have some document, some, some uh, recording <laughs> document. <laughs> wow, that was really loud. But no, seriously, I, I, uh, I, I, you know, kids, kids are just freaking annoying if they're not on, uh, yeah. under control. You know what though? I, I, I say that, but I usually have a good time with kids. Which is funny. <laughs> which is funny that I have, I have a, you have a good time with kids, huh? Yeah. God damn it. Oh, man. I, yeah, I ran into that one, too. Shit. You're fucking up, man. I can't say anything around these people. It's pretty crazy that uh, that I hate kids and I have a, a degree in education. That's <laughs> clearly why, why? I'm not teaching so you have right. a degree in education. Why? Well, you know, why? I like kids. I school. <laughs> it's not like you can teach a child an old trick. What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't really work that one. Who cares what that uh, means? Yeah, so that's, uh, I don't, yeah, let's, let's just get away from that. Uh, TV shows, movies. Nah, Spoiler. nah. No? Nah. Nah. Darn it. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Skip that one. We'll, you don't we'll, want to do that today? No, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. All right, we'll, we'll get some spoilers out tomorrow. Um, hold on a second. Uh, so uh, let's talk about some upcoming things we got going on. Tomorrow we got yes, something special thing. going on. Very, 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 very special show why don't you, tomorrow. With why don't you tell them, Scott? We've Monday got one. Ryan, 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 Van, 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 Sickle, 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 Sickle. Coming on tomorrow. He's coming on at 11 a.m. tomorrow. We've got Ryan yep. Van Sickle. 
He's going to hang uh, out with us. If you guys don't know him. Canadian singer-songwriter, sensation, heartthrob, ladies. Ryan Van Sickle mm -hmm. is going to come on the show, answer some questions, play, yep. maybe play a couple songs. Who, who we had a chance to meet also in person in New York. We did. We awesome, did. awesome we guy. Him. He's a really good guy. Great, great songwriter, yep. good, good music, um, yep. and yep. really good musician. Absolutely. He plays the guitar great. and the harmonica at the same time, and I'm a, and I'm a jealous bastard. Oh yeah, I got one of those, but it doesn't sound anything like when he plays. Yeah. I just kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, Whoa! You know, <laughs> on it. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got Ryan on tomorrow, which is which is pretty amazing. It's gonna be awesome. I'm psyched. I can't wait to hear some of his show, uh, some of his songs. Uh, you know, I have his album, and uh, and he's on G Plus too. If you guys want to uh, check him out, check out Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, Van he's Sickle. on. He's on G Plus. Um. Yeah, so, oh, wow. Uh, Bron Bronwyn, Bronwyn? Yeah, Bronwyn. Just um, put a book in the, in, the, in the comments under our stream. It says, I hate other people's kids. <laughs> 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 so if you guys are watching the show, click on that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, awesome. so um, what else? That's it, right? Well, that's, uh, that, that should be a wrap for today, man. This cool, is uh, cool. a good show. It's nice outside here in New York. I'm going to go for a walk with the baby. Let's do some exercise. You know what? Hold on. Let's, let's not forget Leland Luster. He's in the, uh, he's in the chat also. He's, he's talking about... He's watching the show, so thanks, Leland, for watching the show as well. Uh, we appreciate yeah, everyone that watches the show. This show will be, uh, this show will be on YouTube. It'll be on... Uh, What's uh what's the what the new website that we're on the G plus uh, G plus on there dot com I I would say um catch the show there because or or on our on our walls on uh on the midlife crisis wall because you'll be able to see them all together in one in one place wait hold on technical difficulty that's all right so just go to G wait, I, G plus on air dot com go to the channels section. And we're right in there. It says uh, Midlife Crisis Morning Show. So you can awesome. catch us. You can catch us there. Also, if you want to uh, leave some update your hates, some um, some awkward moments, any appetizers, well, any apps, excuse me, that you want to talk about in our appetizer section, uh, feel free to leave us and drop us an email at midlifecrisis.com. Wait, I always say that at midlifecrisis at gmail.com. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, or you can leave the comments, or, or you can leave uh, comments on our wall as well, and uh, and if we get a bunch of them, we'll just pick some out. And it's gonna give you guys. Let's just give you guys a little taste of, of what you're gonna uh, you're gonna hear tomorrow. Just uh, one of my favorite songs. A couple seconds of it, real fast, of uh, Ryan Van Sickle. Actually, we can play it. So go ahead. Do you guys hear it? No. You have. I have a headset on. It's not gonna work. You have to unplug your headset. You ding dong. Would you like me to play it? Oh, you got it. I got. It. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me play it on my end because it'll it'll come through the the uh, YouTube. Give better. a little. Do you have into the night? Give a little into the night. I like how that comes in in the beginning. Hold up, hold up. I have to go to it. Hold on. Give me a little into the night. Hold on. I gotta go to my Google Music. Do it. God damn it! Do it. I got. I got. I got. I got it. Just, open just, just keep, just keep talking. I'm you know, I, I kind of like, I like blood and dust. All right, but we'll no, play no. that. Give me into the night. Come on, that's what All I was right. gonna play. Give me a little bit. It, it comes right into the words. I love it. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna play it right now. Uh, where is it? Give me a little of that. Give me a little of that. Neon sun shining through the hotel window Empty bottle on the nightstand radio playing Watch you breathe and dream into the night Pull you close, I can feel your heartbeat Cool and blue in the touch of your own skin You won't skin All the troubles of the world Fade away. Into the night, 
Alright, don't give them too much. They won't want to tune in tomorrow because they already heard it. To the night. Ryan Van Sickle's awesome. Okay. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me stop it on my end. Okay. Uh, stop singing, Ryan, in my ear. He just made my <laughs> vagina wet. Holy mackerel. You heard it here first. Anthony <laughs> Feliciano has a vagina. Only when I hear good music. Love it. Love it. Sight. So, so he'll, he'll, be on, he'll be on tomorrow morning. I don't know how long he's going to hang out with us. Hopefully we can keep him for the whole... The whole show. Oh, wow. That'd be That'd nice. Be That'd be gravy uh, training. Yeah. All right, so, so, uh, so tune in. That, same bat channel. Same bat time. Same. That's a show. That's a show. That's a wrap, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy and, uh, your Thursday. And don't worry, Friday's right around the corner. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm Scott Firestein, and you're not. And I'm Anthony, and Scott's not. What? Wait, what? And also, we always like to leave you with this. Hold up, hold up. Who likes the mid-laugh crisis? Your mama.